Let's discuss China's economic model. This model is officially called the socialist market economy, which is essentially a mixed economy, a mixture of the invisible hand of the market force and the visible hand of the state. Look at Alibaba, the world's largest e-commerce company. It holds a Double Eleven shopping festival every year on November 11th. Last year, this single day alone witnessed 26.6 billion U.S. dollars value of e-commerce for this particular company, Alibaba, larger than the total annual e-commerce value of India for the whole country. Yes, Jack Ma is extremely talented, and Alibaba. As a private company, is extremely successful, but the Double Eleven is also a showcase of China's mixed economy. In addition to the role of the private company, Alibaba, the state has done many things. China's first-rate infrastructure, including the world's largest networks of bullet trains and highways, paved the roads for all China's villages. The world's largest 4G Wi-Fi networks, which reached each and every village, the state policy for the internet governance, which protects China's infant industries. Otherwise, it will not be Alibaba's day, but America's Amazon. Not to mention the role of the state in providing compulsory education for the young and electricity supply for all in China, and state's huge investment. In the next generation of IT technologies such as 5G and 5G standards, the list goes on. China has largely established the socialist market economic system over the past four decades, and the system has, in relative terms, the efficiency of resource allocation in the market economy and capacity for macro regulation in the socialist country. In fact, the Chinese economy has three engines: the central government, local governments, and enterprises. The central government is responsible for strategic planning and ensuring overall political and economic stability. Local governments compete with each other via taxation, land policies, and other policies to create business-friendly environment. Enterprises are driving. Force in the in pushing forward the economy. So this three in one is a typical part of Chinese economic model. An important feature of the mixed economy model may be described as I do: development administration, as contrast to public administration. For instance, every five years, China produces a five-year plan. Through extensive consultation at all levels of Chinese government and society, an example of consultative democracy, which China is very proud of, every year CPC holds an annual economic conference, usually held in November. These are all parts of the institutionalized discussions on economic policies, which actually create expectations and demand in the Chinese society. The typical five-year plan in China catches the attention of the vast part of Chinese society, from private firms to state-owned enterprises to individual shareholders. China's fast growth is definitely inseparable from these regular and predictable cycles of expectations and demand creation. I think Chinese universities may eventually offer courses and even degrees. In development administration, just as degrees in public administration is common everywhere, but the Chinese case may be a bit unique, as the Chinese state, under the socialist market economy, commands not only such Keynesian instruments as fiscal and monetary policies, but also other tools which may not be available in other countries, such as public ownership of land, such as. Strategic resources owned by the state, such as larger performing state sector, which is very important. These tools give the Chinese state greater leverage than perhaps 
other states. The mixed economy model is not perfect. But since its inception in 1992, China is the only country, I think, in the world that did not experience financial crisis or a debt crisis or economic crisis. People's living standards have been rising dramatically, perhaps the fastest in the world. And China's contribution to the growth of the world economy is now larger than the combined contribution of the United States, Europe, and Japan. So the model is not perfect, but it's doing better than other models, including the Western one, to my mind at least. Thank you.